Hi guys, I am Mena and my friends and I are on a journey to explore 10 West African countries starting from Nigeria all the way to Senegal. Guys, this is our story. During our journey across West Africa, we made a stop in Benin Republic and were amazed by what we discovered. Benin Republic truly captivated us with its stunning beauty. All right, guys, so this is day three of the West African road trip. All right, and I and my friends are on a journey, right, from Nigeria to Senegal, and we'll be visiting 10 countries along the way okay we'll be experiencing the culture and the history of all of these countries and bringing it to you guys at the moment we are currently in benin republic and i must say that benin republic is not really what we've been made to believe right i think we've been lied to because benin republic is very beautiful very clean and is better than everything i thought it to be you know benin republic is that one place that has made it very intentional for them to preserve their rich history so in today's video we are currently on our way to a town called Wida in Benin Republic, right? The reason why we are going to Wida is because Wida is that place that captures the essence of what Benin represents, okay? It captures the beauty, captures the culture, and captures the rich history of this beautiful country. And I want you guys to tag along with us. We'll be taking you guys through this journey to show you guys how beautiful Wida is. So there's a snake temple in Benin Republic that I want you guys to see. And if you tag along on this journey, I think you guys would really, really enjoy it. Um, let me just ask my friend for a bit. Um, Afam, what has been your experience so far in Benin Republic? It's been amazing so far. So far, so good. You know, everything we've done has exceeded our expectation. You understand? Um, some of us saw Benin Republic as this very tiny country that had nothing to offer. You understand? But our experiences are totally different from, you know, what we thought. You know, so it's actually an interesting country, beautiful country, well planned, especially Kutonu, where we've been so far. You know, the city is well planned. You know, everything just seems to be going well. Yeah, so. That's great, that's great. Wanche, um, Wanche, what do you think? What has been your experience so far um, in Benin Republic? What has been your experience? I think the one thing is the food. If you noticed, we've been eating same food since yesterday. Rice, rice, right, because. There are, options, there are other options actually. I think we have to release ourselves of our, ourselves of our Nigerian ness and actually behave like a traveler and actually taste their food. You understand? So for now, I think the food, we are trying to get used to it. And apart from that, of course, the country, I've been here a few a few years back, is more than what people. You know, when you're traveling, you say, I'm going to Kotonu, look as if you're going to a village in Nigeria, but it's quite different from what you are experiencing so so far so good and that's great that's great guys you've heard it from my uh, my friends right Benin Republic is different from what uh, we've been made to believe right you know so even right now the economy is better um, the currency is strong um, it's the, the country is well organized and one thing that we've been struggling with has been the food you know you would think that a country that is this close to Nigeria right we would be able to we should be having similar food right but it's really really um that's not the case actually that's far from the case right we are struggling with the food here even the rice and stew that we are used to in nigeria it tastes differently over here right we have to that's what we've been eating for the past two days rice and stew rice and stew i think i'll start growing rice on my head because i've not been exploring as i should you know by trying to explore their food and try to experience the culture through food here. And I think I will be trying this, but I just need a lot of courage. Okay, so I want you guys to stick around. I think it's going to be an exciting experience for us today. 
All right, so let me just show you what Benin Republic looks like. Open my eyes, I slept through the day. Slept through the day, feeling uneasy, I push it away. Push it away. Last night was fun, don't feel like today. Feel like today, let's do it again. Let's go. All right, guys, so um, here in Wida, we took the opportunity to explore one of the historical sites um, of the Benin people. Okay, behind me is what we call um, Memorial Grand Jubilee memorial grand jubilee <laughs> if i'm pronouncing that um, correctly right so the reason why um, we came here is because this is, a, this is an historical site right it was built in the year 2000 and the reason why this site was built by the government is because it was built to remember in remembrance of the first christians who stepped their foot on this soil on the benin republican soil right white men came here and they brought christianity to benin republic and uh, they brought the Bible for the first time. And in the year 2000, they came here, I think, in 18 April of 1861, I think, right? And the government, right, decided to um, decided to build this memorial in honor of them. So I'll be showing you guys this memorial um, right now. So stay tuned. All right, guys, this right here is Memorial Grand Jubilee. What you are seeing right here is the map of Benin Republic, guys. And all of this is in memorial of the first Christians who came into this land. This was built in honor of those people who came here. Guys, can't you see this is an amazing site to be? It's an amazing place to be. Come to Benin Republic, come and enjoy yourself. Guys, peace out. Guys, so we are done from the Memorial Grand Jubilee, right? Hope you guys can see how the Benin Republicans are preserving their rich history. Right now, we are going to another place, right, called Memorial, um, the, the place of no return, right? The place of no return is a cultural site, is a historical site that signifies um, that it's a place where the white would usually bring blacks, black slaves, people who were captured into slavery. And from this point, right, these people are taken to Europe, right, and they never come back. Where I'm about to show you is where this exchange or this um, departure happens, okay? What you are seeing right now in front of me is the place of no return. Right here, slaves come and leave through this port. Which, where, where I'm pointing right now, you can see the sea, right? They leave from here to Europe and they never come back. You can see that um the cultural heritage here is being preserved and you can see a lot of people are even coming here to visit this historical site just to you know enjoy what once used to be a place of doom and fear but now it's a place that brings a lot of bonding a lot of people come here you know to remember those who has gone but never came back what you are seeing here is a gate, right? This gate represents a place where black people captured into slavery would pass through. And once they pass through here, they never come back. They are taken into slavery to Europe and that's it. So I'm going to be walking through this place. And what you need to know is that once I pass through this place, guys, <laughs> in the past, it signifies that I'm never coming back. But, but now it's just an historical place, okay? So I just crossed the historical gate of no return and guys thank god for those who fought for slavery i'm not going anywhere i'm staying right here in benin and i'll be exploring west africa so stay tuned do not go anywhere all right guys so here in wither we had to make another stop at the python temple and you can see it right behind me right in this town pythons are worshipped okay you would see you could find pythons in people's houses but here you have a larger concentration of pythons located in one place okay we'll be going inside to see how it looks like so stick around that's where Python slaves. Really like inside here. Yeah. 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 We, we don't feed Python. So we wash our hands first. I bring the Python out and take pictures. Okay. At the end, we will go in. To see in. what? The remaining ones. Okay, okay, okay. Like we okay. have a lot of them. I'm, All right. I'm just going to bring one Python. All right, all right, all right, all right. Thank so you. I just to confirm, are you mentally? 
It's just to prepare you mentally before going in because we have a lot of that. Okay. okay. Would they touch us? They don't. They don't move. It's anyway like we can't force you to do it. Um, to do it. Okay, okay. Alright. So we can hear Yes, these guys want to touch the snake. Will they fall on top on top of us? Any one of the three. Okay. So you do me a favor. I'll wash I'll wash my hands, right? I will put it. Once I'm uncomfortable, just take it off. <laughs> so you understand? Like next as I just put it, they will not get the video. Two seconds, one, two. You understand? What's the screen? So I don't I'm not going to watch man. How how do I watch it? Just yeah. that's okay, all. That's all. Said before you can touch his name. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Where's my bag? Hold on. So can I wash my hand again? Doesn't matter. All right, guys. So I just washed my hands. Do you, do you get that part like where I wash my hands? Yeah. All right. So I washed my hands, and the only way for me to put this on, I have to wash my hands, right? Yeah, <laughs> guys. All right, wait. They're all harmless. Just wait. Just, ah, no, no. Guys, I'm not wait. Just... Okay, 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 okay. So the skin is not slimy. It's not slimy, right? Can so I touch? You can touch it. Can you do me a favor? Is there something I can sorry, is there, is there a way I can put a cloth on me before? No, okay, no cloth. Can I touch it? Okay, okay, okay. You can touch it hold it. I hold the head. Yes, you yeah, so I want you to hold it. Okay. You can put it on you and hold the head. Yes, yes, that's good, that's good. Yes, yes. Okay, let me take this one off. Take it. Open soon to be attracted to this. Wait, 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 wait. Yay! Yay! Yeah! Yeah! I know too, I know too. I know too. Sorry. I know too. No. I try. Hey, come on, try. Guys, guys, I tried. I try. I can't put it on my neck. I know fit. I know fit. Ah, I can't. I beg. <laughs> so we are trying to go in. I can't. I don't. Oh, I don't know how big. Do I pull off my socks? My socks. Like, let me just. Pull so you have to pull off the socks and shoes. So we can come in, right? Uh, sorry. Uh, so please check me. Is there anything that is on me that I need to remove? Well, well, cool. <laughs> this is what you always say. Mm. If they were mm. I get you. Mm. Thank you. So just relax. The thing is, if you want, we will help you with mm. the Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Guys, so you can see all the snakes. This is a snake temple. <laughs> this is a snake temple. These are all the snakes. <laughs> Guys, all right. I think that's that's cool. You want to say something? Say, let's describe. Yeah, yeah. So they need warmth. That's where they, they like putting themselves together. Oh, how do you feed them? Well, we don't feed pythons here because of their nature of constriction. 
So how big is that? Uh, they squeeze and swallow, but we don't give them anything here. They go and get it themselves. So they live here? Because, you know, they have to or squeeze to death their prey before swallowing them. So that's why we can't provide them like dead rat, dead rats. So that's what puts the animals around this We don't even do that. So what do you do? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we just open the door and the ones who are starving, they're moving it out. Into town? Yeah, they go to people's houses. But, you know, what you are seeing here, it's not like all the pythons that we have in here. Uh, no. okay. yeah, those are, they're just brought by the dwellers. Well, they're made and reproduced in the lab. And people find them in their houses, in their rooms, and bring them, and here. Bring them back. You know, you know, they are kind of used to that. But like here, no one hurts them. Everyone respects and protects pythons. So they usually bring them back here in the temple when they find them. That's how we get some of them. They're not it's like their home. They can go and not come back. They can also be new pythons who will be brought in a temple. Like who have never been here. Some like a rotation. They make babies sometimes. They lay eggs. That's how they do it. That's so nice. They only drink water. Water, yeah. Not food. That's fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I've showed you guys the pythons, guys. I've done my best. Ah, uh, no fit. Where I'm from, right? We have a lot of. We're really afraid of snakes, right? So coming here, um, putting snakes on your shoulder is something that I'm not. I'm not used to at all, right? So I tried, but I just couldn't. Maybe it's a phobia I might never really get over. Anyways, we'll find out. Um, so we are heading back into town. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification so you get notified of every episode we release on this journey, the West African um, journey. Until I see you on the next one, peace.